Okay, this is the first step in making a salt from a soluble base, an alkali that is, and an acid. Now the reaction I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see that, is hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. Both of those are soluble. So, if we're going to make a salt which is neutral, we've got to have exactly the right amount of acid to neutralise our alkali. Now our alkali here is corrosive, so I've got to wear lab coat and goggles, and I'm now going to measure out an exact quantity of the alkali. I'm using what we call a volumetric pipette. In the exam you can just say a pipette, but we're measuring out, measuring out very carefully an exact volume of the alkali. And there's a line on the pipette that tells me how much is 25, I get the liquid down to there, and I put it in a clean conical flask. And that just runs down into the conical flask. It takes a few seconds for it all to get in there. In the meantime, I've put some hydrochloric acid in my burette, and I've made sure that the tap, sorry, the burette is reading exactly zero. Underneath the burette, I've put a white tile just to uh, make sure we can see when we've exactly neutralised our reaction. So, there's our alkali in there, hydrochloric acid in the burette. We add a few drops of indicator. One, two, three, four, five, near enough. That is phenolphthalein, it's very good, it gives a nice clear colour, bright pink when it's alkali and colourless when it is acid. Colourless, not clear, a lot of people say clear, but it's already clear, it's a clear pink liquid and it goes to colourless in acid. Now I'm going to add a bit of acid and I swirl it round to mix it and I keep adding the acid until it goes colourless and hopefully that shouldn't take too long. I'm adding quite a bit at a time just to do it quickly, but I have an idea roughly of how much I'm going to need to add. And there we are, it's gone colourless. Now, at this stage, I read on the burette the volume of acid I have added. And it may not be possible to see that, but I've added 12, no, 11.8 centimetres cubed. And I'm just going to pause the video there. Okay, now I've added my, uh, done my first experiment, and it took me exactly 11.8 centimetres cubed of my acid in the burette to neutralise my alkali. So I know how much acid I need. So this time I don't need to use any indicator. My experiment is going to be exactly the same as before but without the indicator. So first of all I measure 25 centimetres cubed of alkali exact using the volumetric pipette and I get my eye down to eye level in case I look a bit stupid squinting at the pipette. I let my 25 centimetres cubed in. So this time my burette has a different purpose. I'm simply going to add 11.8 centimetres cubed exactly. And once I've done that, we'll be left with a pure solution of sodium chloride in water. There's my balanced equation again, HCl plus NaOH gives NaCl plus H2O. Now, if I'm trying to make a salt, I don't want phenolphthalein to be in there as well, because it's just contaminating the thing I want to make, and what's more, phenolphthalein is poisonous, so we certainly don't want that in there. So this time, I've got my alkali, I'm just going to run acid in, until exactly 11.8 centimetres cubed have been added. I don't need to stir it at the moment, it's important just to add the right amount. And you can't see it from there, but I've now added 11.7, 11.8. One last drop for good measure. Swirl that around, and that 
is a neutral solution of sodium chloride. Step three is we're going to evaporate off all the water. Now, notice the solution is completely clear. There's no need to filter this. It's completely clear. We pour it into an evaporating basin. And the last thing we want to do now is to warm up the liquid to evaporate off the water. Okay, then step three of making a soluble salt from uh, an alkali and a, an acid is to evaporate off the water. Quickest way to do that is simply to put it in an evaporating basin and Bunsen burner on full, boil off the water. And you can probably just about make out that that one's bubbling away. There we go. And it might take a while to do that. So here's one in the greatest tradition of uh, uh, Blue Peter that we made earlier you might just be able to see some white solid in there. And those are hopefully pure crystals of sodium chloride solid. Okay, so that's how to make a salt.